Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be going after the Wither. That's right, but before we can do that, there's a lot of work ahead of us, so I hope you guys are ready. So today we are here in our nether, and I have been very, very busy. I have been replacing all of this brick. Um, you can see most of this is uh, just come from me tearing down structures. I still have some of these structures to try and tear down. Some of these we may not tear down. We may just slab them up um, just to prevent spawns from uh, occurring over here. But look what I have here. Our first head. And I wanted to save that for a specific reason. I really wanted to save that. I do need to get back to the base, though. Um, I did. Well, if we can, you know, maybe get through a couple of these wither skeletons. Um, this, this sword has looting, and I have been... Working my way through, just focusing mainly on building. That's why I have some potions here uh, to prevent these guys from hurting me. But we do need to upgrade our armor. Right now, we are pretty vulnerable um, to pretty much any attack, including ones specifically from these guys. Um, so having this shield is definitely going to be effective. One thing we do need is for this guy to drop some more magma cream. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So yeah, these guys are dropping some magma cream. We do need that because that is how we make fire resistant potions, which are the best thing to have when in the nether. And you can see how effective us flattening this thing out is for getting wither skeletons to spawn. It is super effective. And if you're any person that's or anybody playing in a survival survival world that is having a problem getting a wither skeletons to spawn, this is the way to do it. Just flatten out a large area. Um, of the fortress and then leave the area come back um, do things like that that is going to remove the spawns what you're trying to do is you want to reduce the amount of pigmen that are spawning um, the only other way to do that that is better than this currently is to just slab everything that you don't want area or areas you don't want things to spawn to slab them up or place lava or in this case spread out the surface area of your um, actual um, fortress and give the fortress more area for those uh, wither skeletons to spawn and that is going to um, increase the amount of wither skeletons for one that you can see and another it's just going to make it a lot easier um, in total so let's go ahead and head up here as you can see I did go ahead and finally make a pathway I thought that that was definitely necessary um, and yeah the pathway leads over here I'm still probably I'm actually gonna probably get rid of this I don't know I don't I'm not a big fan of having this here I don't feel like it's adding anything to this area. It was just for me to know where the path is at. But yeah, this is pretty much the path that's leading over here. Honestly, we could build a bridge. You can see right over there, we can kind of see a little bit of the fortress. But going directly this way would lead us directly to the fortress as well. So right here, we just kind of do like a loop-de-loop -loop around. But, you know, I think it works, uh, works out just fine. All right, so we do need to head back. And I need to make a couple things. I need to go ahead and we need to start enchanting some diamond armor. Um, that is one thing. We do have enough diamond at this point that we can make our first set of diamond armor. Uh, this is going to be very helpful because I do plan on fighting the wither today. That is my goal. Um, it will be pretty challenging um, to fight the wither. Hopefully we can, we can figure out a way. I do know a way... Um, of taking on the wither that usually works. So if we have luck with us, we should be able to handle this. So let's go ahead, pop this in here, and see what we can't get. You know, respiration's pretty good. Oh, protection three. Sewer chest piece, protection. And dude, anything, anything that has protection, I am game for. Oh, that's protection. All we need, we have 28 levels. Okay, so what I can do here, just to boost up my levels, I'm going to head on over to my level farm. Um, my good old farm over here. And we're going to farm up just a couple more levels. Just enough so I can get that last bit of protection on my armor. And uh, I'll be right back. So I got my levels. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Of course, I have a potion that is brewing over here. Um, to get these potion effects, it's very simple. Um, all you need is a nether wart. That's the first thing that needs to affect your water bottles. Turn them into aqua potions. Um, whenever you add that magma cream, it's going to make this into a three minute fire resistance potion. And then you add redstone to that, that is going to make it an eight minute fire resistance potion. Beautiful 
um, easy to do. Let's go ahead and get our leggings here. Protection, perfect. Dude, all of these, this armor is beautiful. Let's go ahead and throw this armor on. This is some pretty good, pretty decent armor. It's not the best things in the world. The only way to get the best set of armor, I think, is to farm enchanted books. Um, that is going to definitely be the best way to do that. So there is our potions. The reason I want these potions, we're going to use these here in a little bit to really start farming um, some more stuff. I don't need my diamonds in here. They go in here. What am I doing? Um, so let's go ahead and throw that in there. We have our resistance potions. Um, I need lapis in here. All right, and you see these slabs. Um, these slabs are going to really come in handy um, here in a minute. What I need to do is take a bit of cobblestone with me. Also, make sure that I have a decent amount of wood because I need to make a crafting table. This is to take with us. And what we're going to do is I'm going to head back into the nether. I'm going to slab up a bit of the area around. And this is going to be very helpful. This is going to help reduce the amount of spawns of other mobs. Um, so wither skeletons are not going to spawn on the nether rack here. They're going to spawn on the actual fortress itself. Um, and also, if you didn't know this, that withers, wither skeletons are affected by light levels. So anything level seven and below, they can spawn. That's their that's their conditions. Um, if it is seven and above, they cannot spawn. So another good way of preventing just wither skeletons from spawning elsewhere um, is to definitely light up areas. So we will be probably doing that as well. But what we have over here is some chests, and it's in a decent sized area that's nice and kind of safe. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is making some slabs. If that'll transfer in here. I did have some stuff that was in here. Yeah, there's some nether rack, things like that. But yeah, we're going to use this to make some slabs. The easiest way to do that is to use our lovely book. Grab what we can get. And yeah, I have a lot of work ahead of me when it comes to this. Um, so the best thing to do is we need to slab it. Instead of breaking these down, we can slab the tops and the bottoms. And also slab these areas that are downstairs. Um, this this will just prevent these guys from spawning down here. And you'll you'll probably notice right away um, that you'll you'll start noticing more things are going to start spawning in the main platforms. As soon as you start doing an effective area of this, you will really notice that. So I'm going to go ahead and slab a little bit of this up, including these areas and some of the areas over here. And I really want to focus them into this specific area itself. I have managed to cover most of the nether, or what many people would say, slabbing up the nether. Um, this takes, uh, took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, to be honest. Um, I didn't do this area as I might have to come back and start working on it. Um, I did try my best to get the majority of the areas that are a, like a, directly um, underneath or above um, our actual uh, platforms here but as you can see look at the spawns now the spawns are just ridiculous we are getting so many more wither skeletons spawning here um, so now we should have a lot higher chance of uh, at least getting some heads here um, at least that's the ultimate goal anyways and I have looting two on this sword it's not the greatest thing in the world this sword is becoming really annoying I'm not gonna lie knockback is my least favorite um, it is my least favorite in Jan at the moment. Uh, it's just not useful. It's not useful at all. It knocks your mob further away from you, which, I mean, you're trying your best to kill these things as fast as possible. So knocking them away, especially with the blazes, is really not efficient. I mean, this shoots blazes, like, way away from you. And it's just really not a good thing, because then they can just target you, or they fall off the map like that. And then you're left with flames, which reduce the spawning, um, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's, even skeletons. This is just not okay. <laughs> I thought this was a, a good sword, and then I realized, oh man, it has knockback on it. And knockback is just not fun with this guy. Um, I mean, eventually the flames do go out. Um, but what I'm going to end up doing is probably going out of the nether... I'm going to come back into the nether. The mobs should be despawned. 
Um, and we're going to see where these guys are actually spawning. These guys should not spawn up there because those are all solid. But these guys are, of course, here whenever I did place that. Um, everywhere else, I, I'm going to figure out where exactly they're all spawning. Um, I mean, it's not going to be that imperative. We do have most of the areas completely covered up. Um, but what, we, what we're trying to do is reduce the amount of pigmen that are actually spawning in this area. That way we can, you know, better our chances of getting more wither skeletons. All right, so at the moment I have a giant army after me. I'm going to try. Hopefully we can get at least one head from this group. That is the goal. Oh, no. I did not want to take wither damage. Um, these guys can also pick up items, so we got to be careful with that as well. Um, wow. So, yeah, our luck is just not with us. So we're going to I'm going to take a little bit of time. Um, and hopefully be able to farm a couple more heads and then we can get on with what it's going to take to actually kill the wither and guys there we go we ended up getting our last head that I needed I ended up getting oh maybe I had more than I thought I did <laughs> I've just been going at these guys like crazy I've just been what I've been doing is I've been running all the way over here and I'll run this direction um, and I'll go through this tunnel run back run down this way and then what I'll do is I'll make a path through here, around, come back around, and then eventually there'll be more of these guys spawning, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, another way I can get them to spawn is also running down this platform, going back to my portal, and then coming back, and there'll usually be more spawning. But I ended up getting more than I bargained for, um, because, oh, also we have some loot that we got from chests when we were clearing chests. We have tons of nether brick material from when I was destroying some buildings and stuff. Um, and we have tons more cobblestone slabs that I plan on using for, um, the future. Alright, so, oh, no, I had those, I had the skeleton skull on me, okay, so we didn't get more than we bargained for, we had the, just the right amount. Alright, so now we get to move on to the fun part, and that is killing this guy and hoping 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 that we uh we complete this without any any issues we do have a sharpness sword it'd be best if we didn't have sharpness for the wither it'd be best if we had um the other one i can't think of it off the top of my head right now um you have sharpness and the one that does more damage <laughs> against undead mobs i just can't remember the name of it anyways we have to go to a specific location, or at least I'm going to choose a specific location. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We are going to look up in the, or mine up in the top here into near our, near our, our actual spawn, really. Um, we should be pretty close to the coordinates that I want to go to. Um, I did just recently use these over on my Twitch channel, so if you go to twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect, I do live stream there and you uh, will probably find me live while you're actually watching this um so if you uh if you find that out go check me out i'll be uh, live on twitch.tv forward slash chosen arctic where i'll be playing the same game i'll be playing this uh but in hardcore mode and we're trying to complete all of the challenges you may have seen the vods on the channel but anyways so here we are ready to go we are about to take on this beautiful guy so um right here we have a specific area and from which we can actually spawn this guy and get the wither stuck. And that is going to be what we are trying to do. Now, you don't have to use a specific area. You can actually go pretty much anywhere. Um, just as long as you have a space that is at least one block. So really, you could lock him into this block. The problem is, is when he gets stuck in the block, his side, the, the pieces on his side that stick out, which he is a three block mob, um, will actually be able to shoot you and he could possibly get out so what you need to find is an area that is pretty much like this um, and you're gonna drop down two blocks let's go ahead and do that oh we should be man I, I hope this goes good um, but we have it right here so just specifically right here um, this is gonna give him a two blocks right here where he could potentially shoot us but we're gonna stand over here so hopefully we won't have to deal with that issue. So drop down two blocks, place down this block, which is obsidian. We're going to get our soul sand. Place our soul sand like this. And it shouldn't matter what direction. I mean, you can only place this in one direction. This is where you also have to find a place that allows you to place the heads 
and allow you to place this guy. So we're going we're to spawn him in sideways like this. And this should go pretty well. We're going to try our best to get over here. There's no way he's going to be able to take us on um, because he will get stuck. And that is the main goal. And we can do this with pretty much nothing on. Now, if something does go south and say something goes wrong, we're going to bail. <laughs> we're going to run for it because um, I am not going to be stuck here. So we have a tunnel over here that is pretty long. We can do some jumping to get away from this guy relatively quickly. If he doesn't get stuck, then we know we've had an issue. But he should get stuck. Let's do this. So what's going to happen is he is going to slowly but surely float up. Head is going to get stuck up there. You're going to have an explosion, of course, like normal. And we have to try and take him out. We're going to take him out as quick as possible. Just swinging as, as much as we can. There we go. He is in his middle stage. And... Bam! That is how easy we can take out the Wither even before we go to the end. And this will allow us to get a beacon super early guys so let's go ahead and head back to the base and we're going to set up our first beacon so we are back in our base and now we should be able to make our first beacon and yeah this is pretty much it we're going to take it surround this with glass like so and we have voila a beacon All right perfect so we only have enough iron right now to afford a small beacon but even a small beacon is going to be definitely a monument to our success, at least as of right now. Um, this monument is going to be pretty, pretty nice. And I think this is going to be a pretty nice location for it. Um, so we do need to kind of pillar up here because this does need line of sight to the sky. So let's go ahead and break a few leaves. There we go. Perfect. So now that we have this set in place, all we need to do is take nine blocks of iron, or you can use any material, really. Place a beacon down, and as soon as it realizes it has line of sight, we get the bringing home the beacon achievement, which is super awesome. And uh, this is going to be what basically leads us into um, some of our future endeavors, because this guy is really powerful and gives us some really useful potion effects. All right, so one cool thing that you can immediately do with it is you can change the color of it by placing a piece of glass. Glass pane, and the glass pane is actually gonna hide the change of color. But you can get even more fancy, find the top of this thing, and you can change the color again. But now keep in mind that it's not gonna change like you think it's going to change. Um, I honestly wish it would just, you know, completely change the whole color of the beam but it doesn't it is going to rotate back and forth so let's go ahead and i'll show you as an example so we have this here that's going to give us a good example and show us where things are going to go so we can rotate these and keep going up and you can see this beam actually starts to change colors each time we do this it actually does change you can see it's darker blue here purple goes to orange um and then this starts to get even more purplish as we continue. Uh, but you could split this up like this, just like so. You can see how that kind of gives it you know, some different looks if you wanted to do that. Um, or you could use blocks and you can actually dramatically change this whole thing if you wanted to. Um, I think I'm going to go with orange as the color of my beacon because I absolutely like the color orange. It's one of my favorite colors. And you can see that is going to be wonderful. Now, we need to activate this and select something to give us effect. And it, it, with it being the size that it is, it's not going to have the biggest range, which is fine. I think we can activate this with Lapis. Watch me get over here and Lapis is not a thing that we can use. No. <laughs> we Iron, gold... Diamonds or emeralds, um, but it doesn't matter what you use to activate. Once you activate it, it will stay active. So what we're going to do is we are going to use some iron. 
and let's go ahead and select what we want. I think I want speed boost around the base. We can go ahead and select that, throw the the uh, specified item in here and activate it. And now we should get speed around the base. Now the range of this is not going to be very big. I don't know the specifics on the range, but I do know the bigger your pyramid is that you build this on, um, the larger the range is going to be. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I really do like uh, I like having a beacon. Um, it's definitely going to be helpful as we start to gain more iron. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also check out my Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. Guys, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.